Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Kelly Loveday, your independent sissy consultant. I am here uh, because I want to show you uh, the premium diffuser. Um, the premium diffusers look awesome. They are a little bit on the spendy side, but I think it is a good investment. And they also come with shades that are beautiful. So it's also like a statement piece, home decor. Now I got some of the oils and I'm gonna show you those. First, these are $12 a piece. They're 0.5 fluid ounces. These are a natural oil blend. This first one is chamomile violet. And chamomile violet is chamomile and violet. This is what it looks like. And we're gonna sniff it. Oh yeah, this one's really good. I get a little bit of that violet in there. And then I get like that chamomile, that like black tea. It's really rich smelling. I like that. Then I got the cactus pear. Cactus pear is pear, apple blossom, and cactus. Mm, I definitely get a cactus vibe. I get a little bit of that pear. And then you have a little bit of a floral from the apple blossom. But I'm mainly getting like pear and cactus. So it's like uh, fruity and fresh. Then I have rosewood vanilla. Rosewood vanilla is rosewood, cedar, vanilla, and cinnamon. That's what that looks like. I definitely get the cedar and the rosewood. So it's very woodsy. I do not smell cinnamon. It has a little bit of that vanilla, which kind of softens it up. It's really pretty. Whoops, I almost dropped it. And this last one is red currant raspberry. This one will be discontinued. And this is red currant raspberry and star anise, which star anise um, smells like licorice. So good. I get the red currant and raspberry. I do not smell any licorice type note. It's very tart. It's not sweet. It's tart. It's like a tart berry. And I like tart berry. Like it makes your mouth water. Yes, I like that one. Okay. And we're going to get on to the, <coughs> excuse me, the actual diffuser. I love the boxes that these come in. They're gorgeous. And this is called the teardrop pedestal. This is what the box looks like. This is so pretty. Okay, dropped it. Okay, this is what it looks like. So, you got two switches right here. On the bottom, this is where the plug goes, which is included. This comes off, it just pulls off, okay? And on the inside here is, is your reservoir. Let me see. This is the maximum fill line. And I am gonna fill it up because we're gonna see what this does. Okay. 
This right here is $85 by itself, by itself. But any of their premium shades, any of their shades, I should say, will fit this diffuser, okay? So, and most of the shades are $60 a piece. I think there might be like a couple that are like 70, but most of them are 60. Um, and you can get them with the base and the shade for about $140. Yes. Okay, so I think that's all I need that paper for, so I'm going to put that down. I am going to show you the shade that I got. This one is going to be discontinued. The end of the month, it's going away. It's going away. That's why I wanted to grab this because it is so pretty. It's called the Renew. This is the box. So pretty. All right, let me take it out of the box. Find a place where you can fill your life with optimism, Orville. And all their boxes have quotes. Some are from Orville, some are from Heidi. Look at this. So pretty. Right. Let me take it out of the plastic. Oh, it's beautiful. It is glass. That is so pretty. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug in the diffuser first. Um, and just snaps in there. Okay. It doesn't have like a little notch or anything. But it does still sit flat. The way it was designed, it, okay. It sits flat. Technical difficulties, just a moment. Let me move this. Like I said, that's glass. Don't want to break it. What I'm going to do is, is I have a measuring cup here. It's at the one cup. So we're going to see how much. Yeah, put it in here. I'm going to put it just a little under the maximum line. So that took... I don't know, about a third, about a third of a cup. So, and then of course you would add your oils and stuff, which I'm not going to do right now, but this just fits over the top like that. And then we are going to put our Diffuser shade right over the top. And it sits down there really nicely. This is what it looks like. And be very careful. Where is the front here? Okay. So on the front of this, it has a sun. There's a sun on this. This is for the lights. A teardrop or a water drop is for the diffusing, if you will. So we're going to go through the lights. And it's not doing anything. What? What? <laughs> I'm going to be mad if this is not working. 
There it goes. I didn't have it pressed in all the way. Okay, so <laughs> technical difficulties, y'all. This is real life right here. This is the first, you press the sun one once. This is what you get. Isn't that pretty? Press it again and it goes lower. So the first one was the high setting. This is the low setting. This is like a flicker. So it's like a candle light. You get the little flicker here. That is so cool. Okay. I think you have to hold it down. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Now, see on my camera, it is shimmering. It's not doing that in real life. It's staying one color. Okay, now it's it went from blue to purple. What other color are you going to do? Pink. Oh, that is gorgeous. Red, orange, yellow, green, a darker green. Oh, wow. That green's not really showing up on the camera as pretty as it is in real life. Let's see, now it's changing back to like an aqua and now like a white. That is beautiful. And then, then you can hit it, hit the button and then you can go through the colors, okay? And you can leave it on whatever color you want instead of having it go through the rainbow. Pretty. That is just so beautiful. Okay. Then we're gonna try the mist. We're gonna see how good this works. Okay. I don't know if you can see, can you see it in front of my face? The mist. This is on, is this low? I think this is low. Look at that mist. You can see it. And I pressed it again. And it is definitely getting a little bit higher. That is really nice. It has a little bit of sound to it, but it's not loud at all. And off. So, low. Is that low or high? So anyway, there you go for that. It's like I said, and you could leave it off. Now with these two, when it runs out of the water, if you have the lights on, the lights will stay on. So you just have to, you know, check on it. Um, I've heard that these run about six to eight hours and then they're empty and you have to redo them again. That they're that is supposed to do that. That is supposed to do that. It's like really windy out today. Windy and cold. And you gotta hold it down to get it to go in the rainbow. So one for high, one for low, one for flicker. And then it will shut off again. You hold it down for a few seconds and it will start to go through the rainbow. When you get to a color that you want it, you stop it by pressing it again or, and then you can toggle through the different colors. So 
that is so cool. And then just hold it down to shut it off. Like I said, this one, y'all, it's beautiful. So there was my Renew Premium Diffuser. Like I said, they have a whole bunch of different shades that you can choose from. They're just gorgeous. Um, and I know that some people prefer like to diffuse oils instead of using wax. Um, it's just a lot easier cleanup. And with these, you do have to clean them. Basically, take a cotton ball or cotton round or whatever, a soft cloth, and clean out the bottom of the base when the water's done and all that. So take care of it and it should last you for years and years and years. So I want to thank you all for watching. Oh, oh, before I go, Monday the 18th, they're going to be launching some of their um, Valentine's Day stuff. They're going to have uh, wax melts. They're going to have the fan plug-in fan diffuser that's in pink. They're going to have a couple um, of warmers. Um, they're going to have Scentsy Soak, and it's like in a berry scent. So they're going to have a lot of cute stuff. So get on there Monday and, and check out their Valentine's Day stuff. It might go fast. I don't know. I don't know. Um, but just in case, I would... Check it out if you're into the Valentine-y type stuff. So anyway, okay. Have a great and wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.